Hello, I'm Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke here at Curdo's in Westchester County. Welcome to the sanctuary where we grill, sear, and smoke. We build and design mighty fine outdoor kitchens. Come visit us. And yes, we sell appliances as well. Um, I want to talk about the solid fuel insert, something that's come up on the sales floor recently, and it's something that needs to be uh, discussed on, on, online so people can kind of get the real scoop over here. I've had a few people who, um, after talking about solid fuel, I've seen the videos, oh, you, know, you can do all these wild things with it, cook with wood, cook with coal, um, elevate your game, and they come in, and I've had about three cats say to me recently, um, well, not, not recently. I mean, this, this is going over, this is probably going back to last fall. Probably three to five people. And what they say to me is, Jonathan, I see the solid fuel box over here. It's a piece of metal. Why can't I fabricate my own? I don't want to spend $575 on a box to cook uh, wooden. So I said, you know what? Back in the day, I said, maybe you're right. Try it out. So I want to report to you on the three individuals who have actually bypassed the solid fuel box and opted to create their own. Number one, first guy melted the entire enclosure, whatever he had created. I don't know what metal it was made out of. I have it written down somewhere. Melted the whole bottom. Actually clogged his burner, had a big issue. Ended up buying a solid fuel insert. Number two, cat number two, okay? He bought it, it warped the entire bottom. The burners warped the entire bottom of the solid fuel box that he created. He was done with it after a few times. He bought one, okay, eventually. And number three, the, um, the box actually did not fit his grill and by the time he had to have it retrofitted, he had gone above what it cost to simply buy the solid fuel box that Alfresco makes. So not only is the solid fuel box built to withstand the searing infernal heat that this grill generates with their 28,500 BTU burners and then the Hellfire burner kicking over on the other side if you opt for a sear zone uh, model, but the boxes have been designed to go seamlessly into the grill and to work best with it. Check this out. Not just a box, take a look at the bottom. You see that? There are two channels built into this box. Why are the channels there? The channels sit right on top of the burner tubes. Remember, we have U-shaped burners over here. So those channels sit right on top and hug the U-shaped burners. That's the reason why you are getting ignition on coal and wood in there in seven minutes. I've timed it numerous times. So. When all said and done, listen, the thing costs $575. I understand some people think they gotta get a great deal, they gotta get a better deal, let me go do it on my own, DIY, whatever. It doesn't work. I've had numerous people who have tried it, they've melted the thing out, all right? So this thing is built to work in the grill. By the time, even if you got it right in terms of the metals to have it withstand the heat in this thing, I, I, I question whether you're actually going to be at a lower price point than what the thing costs to buy from your local dealer. So my advice, just buy it. Don't try to build it. Case closed. Any questions, Jonathan Come in, call, visit. We love you all. Thank you.